All right, guys. So today I'm going to show you guys how to index a Books and the Mac program. So again, I am going to use Adobe InDesign, and also I am going to uh, be talking a little bit uh, from Microsoft Word. So I'm going to be using Adobe InDesign and Microsoft Word, and I have a Mac. So in the beginning, you see this uh, program called TechTrack. All right, and I used to use text tracks. I spent, you know, about four hundred dollars, and I invested in this program to last me a lifetime. Well, when I got the MacBook, you know, this program doesn't work. It does work if you want to buy uh, Parallels, a program called Parallels. But I just said, no, I'm just okay. I cut my losses. So I've been doing a lot of research, and I've been trying to find different index programs. But to be honest, it's not like Textrex because Textrex allows you to use a PDF file and then it'll generate a list for you and you can select what you want. You can export it into a Microsoft Word document. All right. So, again, I use uh, Adobe InDesign for all of my books. I format all of my books. So this is a book that I'm currently working on that is getting ready to be published by me. All right. So I'm going to show you the process. So, again, if you cannot find a good index program, if you don't want to invest the money, because I looked at one and one was like $900, and I was like, it's not worth it. All right, so I'm going to show you what to do. So you guys, what you do in the beginning, um, I'm going to show you uh, and how it's going to look like, okay? So if you want to index, you look no further. This is awesome uh, tool for you guys to use. All right, so you see I generated an index uh, list and that yours will look just like this when you get done. If you follow these steps, it's really simple to do. I think it took me about an hour, you know, hour and a half to get this done. It was more time uh, consuming than usual with the Textrex program, but this is uh, another way you can do it. So just open up a new Word document, all right, and you want to open up your InDesign and you just want to select you know, the page, and you see that I have 94 uh, pages in this book, all right? So I've got to do this like 94 times, okay? So select only on this page. Copy. All right, so I push Command-C because I'm using the Mac, and then I push Command-V to paste. All right, then you will want to uh, come up and you get ready to create a page break. So... To create a page break, you can come to Insert, hit Page Break, and it's going to bring you to the next page. So you go down and you do the same thing for page two. Now make sure your pages are matching. So copy or Control C, go back over to the Word document, and Control V to paste. All right, page break. Go back to your InDesign. All right, we're only going to copy page three. Control C. All right, and we're going to hit Control V. All right, and we're going to hit uh, certain page break again. All right, so I'm going to just show you how it looked like instead of doing 94 pages again. So um, use what Microsoft Word offers. You go to References, and we're going to just start highlighting uh, the word generation here. So you highlight generation. And again, it's $69 subscription a year, and just utilize everything to have. So you're going to mark the entry, and, you know, you can hit sub-entry if you know how to index, but I'm going to hit mark all. All right. So if you know how to do it, you can uh, – put sub-entry, but I just want a basic list, all right? Then I hit close. And as you can see, it marked it. Put it for the XE there, all right? And then we're going to find something else. want to highlight leaders and mark entry. All right, mark all, then close. Then we're going to do the same thing again for... The word life. I like life. All right? So mark entry, mark all, close.
Mark entry, mark all, close. All right, so we're going to go to the end of the document, and we are going to get our index out. So insert index, all right, and you can choose from different formats like simple, formal, bulleted, modern, classy, classic, fancy, or from template. I'm just going to choose from template. All right, and it has a nice little list. And you just copy and paste the list uh, in your InDesign uh, layout. All right, it's really simple to do, you guys. All right. So I am going to uh, show you guys uh, kind of how that looks like. So you see that nice list? So you just copy and paste, and I'm just trying to pull up another document to show you guys uh, that, that process of how everything looks. All right, so I'm going to come to the end of my book, which is, like 94 pages, and before that, uh, you guys remember the index list I had, right? So I'm just going to copy and paste this list. to open up another page uh, in my layout. All right, and I'm going to create a page break. So if text can come onto the other page. You guys can see that. And I'm going to, in my paragraph cell, hit the normal body text. And go ahead and paste that. You can see that the list is there. All right. I just keep on creating new pages. All right. So you guys, it was uh, simple to do. It took a little bit more time versus uh, using tech tracks. But you can do this. It's a great investment if you have Adobe InDesign and if you have Microsoft Word and if you have a MacBook, you can do this technique. All right.